Okay, so today we're gonna do some water retrieves with, uh, we're gonna start out with Apollo, and then I'm gonna switch over to Cooper. Um, I'm gonna introduce Cooper to a uh, starter pistol, and uh, if, you guys, if you guys don't have a starter pistol, that's right here. It's just a little cap gun I got at the dollar store. It was a dollar, I think the caps was two dollars. So, but, but it works just as good as a starter pistol. It's not as loud, but that's not needed my opinion you don't have to have something that's extremely loud all you need is just the noise and then um, they'll associate that noise with the gun later but today we're going to do some blind work with apollo in the water i'm gonna throw a bumper back here on the ground and while he's going after it i'm gonna throw one out here in this uh, pond and then when he gets back i'll send him out there so he didn't see me throw that one so it'll be a blind retrieve right now i'm just working on lines just making him go straight back um, I had some issues last year trying to get him to, to swim across the creek to retrieve a, um, a duck that he, we shot two of them, they both went across the creek, he went and got one and I tried to get him to go back and get the other, it was sitting on the bank over there and I couldn't get him to cross the creek. So we're going we're gonna to try to fix that and work on some water retrieves and some blinds casting him in the water. So we'll just run some. Yo, yo, sit, sit. Like I said, I'm gonna throw some up here on the, on land first. Here, sit. Paula. Good dog. Yo, good, sit. Drop it. Good. Yeah, I heal. He already sees it. Back. I try to use these orange bumpers. I know the ends of them, they're white, but they say that uh, dogs can't see orange. So while he's going after that one, I'm, I'm going to throw what they call a poison bird. It's just going to be another bird. Um, that you shoot while the dog's on his way back. And guys, keep in mind that you want to do it on calm water. You don't want to do this in a, in a river. So you don't want to shoot multiple birds in the river because that one's now floating away while your dog's trying to bring one back to you. Good dog. And when he gets back, I'll release him on his name since he's seen that one fall. Good dog. Heel. Heel. Good. Drop it. Follow. While he's going after that, I'm going to throw a blind up here on land. Good boy. Then when he gets back with that blind, I'm gonna throw him a fun bumper and I'm just gonna throw it as far as I can. And then I'll put him up and I'll get Cooper out and we'll, uh, we'll work with him with the um, cap gun. See if we have any issues with him being gun shy. Guys, I recommend that uh, you don't start your dogs like this with a cap gun. Sit, he sees that one up there too, sit. Drop it. Sit. I recommend you guys, you wanna, when you guys introduce your, your dog to the gun, that you start out you know, with your dog and then someone else goes down 100 yards from you, you throw the bumper and while it's in the air, they shoot the gun. And then if the dog didn't have any reaction to it, he just went and got the bumper and come back, then that guy would get closer. So say 80 yards. And then you just repeat the process until the guy is standing right beside you. And then that's, that's you know, um, one way to introduce him to a gun. Another way is you can make a lot of noise around them. Just, just don't pay any attention to them. If, if they flinch, you know, don't, don't pat them, say, oh, it's okay. Um, you're just encouraging them to be scared. So if they flinch, just, just back up or try to get away from them. Sit. Try to get away from them, and um, or or get someone else to help you, and they you know get the noise away from them. 
but as long as they stay calm, they don't really pay attention to it, then proceed. Yep. Sit. Line. Back. Good. Good dog. Yep. Good. Sit. Drop it. Good. Stay. All right, so I'm gonna throw him a fun bumper and then we'll get Cooper. Fun, fun, fun. I'm trying to handle the dog and run the camera and talk to you guys and you know, try to inform you on what's going on. And it's a one man wrecking ball, I guess. There's some geese down on the other end of the pond. They got some goslings down there. So we're working the dogs over here. Good dog. Good dog. A dog. Sit. Here. Hey. Here. Sit. Good boy. Drop it. All right, guys. I'm gonna get Cooper. All right, guys. So I got this cap gun for Cooper. Um, we're gonna work over. Or we'll work on um, associating the gun with what we're doing. So I'm gonna throw a bumper in the water, and when he goes after it, and then on his way back is when I'm gonna fire the cap gun. So we're, we'll see what goes on here. Yo, 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 hey, yo, sit, sit. I'm not, I'm not gonna throw it very far, sit. Cooper. I'm gonna put him in your way, there we go. Good dog. Good dog. Good boy. Good dog. Heel. Heel. Good. Heel. Good. Sit. Drop it. This long line's gonna get tangled up. Sit. Sit. Oh well, we'll just see how it goes. Sit. I'm gonna throw him another one. Cooper. Again, I'm gonna wait until he's on his way back before I fire this. Now I'm not gonna point it at him or wave it around. I'm just gonna fire it beside me and act like everything's you know normal. Good dog. Good dog. So I didn't see any issues, so this time I'm gonna I'm gonna fire it when I when I throw it. I'm gonna throw it a little a little farther out this time. Heel. Hey. Good, that's it. Good, good. Here. Drop it. Good. That's it. Hey. Heel. Sit. Sit. Me. Try to multitask and get the gun ready. Sit, sit. Cooper, that's beautiful. Beautiful, he didn't flinch, he didn't act like he was scared of it. And I know this, this thing ain't that loud. It's not as loud as a 22, um, but, but if you're trying to get started and you don't have the money to buy a starter pistol, then this this will do the same thing. My wife thinks he's going to drown the way he swims. Um, 
he should eventually, you know, learn how or gather it up and quit splashing it. Well, see, he's leveled out already. But guys, that's that's one way you can start your dog. Um, like I said, if you don't have, um, I think I think the, the cheapest starter pistol I found was it took 22 blanks. Um, I think it was $30. I'll look it up and I'll and I'll uh, I'll leave the um, description and stuff. I'll leave the information in the description below. Um, I think it went from $30 for a starter pistol and the next next one was like $200. But I'll leave it all all down there in the description. Good boy. Good boy. Heel. Good dog. Oh, that's a good dog. Heel. Good. Sit. Sit. Pick it up. Hey. Pick it up. Pick it up. Here. Pick it up. Pick it up. Take it. Good. Sit. Sit. Good. Good. Drop it. Good. All right, sit. Fun, 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 fun. He's getting better at swimming already. This is all it is. He took his little round caps, and uh, it's pretty loud for what it is. For three dollars, I couldn't beat it. It's better than spending three hundred dollars on trying to get a starter pistol so you can work with your dog on gunfire. But once he gets back, we'll be done for the night. Um, guys, don't don't forget to hit that subscribe button right there and uh, check out this video when we're done. Good boy, Cooper. What a good dog. Good boy. Good boy. Yo. Good dog. Come on. Good boy. Sit. Hey. Sit. Good. Drop it. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.